What's going on everybody? Back with another Wealth Hack Wednesday and just wrapped up another boxing class. This has become my jam this summer, just hitting that heavy bag. I started thinking about the most recent UFC fight that I watched and no, we're not talking about the Cormier upset. We're talking about the Lewis Naganu fight, which has been now called one of the worst, if not the worst, heavyweight fights in MMA history. So with this fight, I mean, by far, I almost fell asleep during this fight because these two heavyweight powerhouses threw the least amount of strikes, I think, in UFC history. And they kept saying, oh, the guy's gonna bring it in the second round. No, he's gonna bring it in the third round. Well, no one ever no one ever brought anything, and it was so pathetic. And you're probably wondering, what does all of this have to do with building wealth? The one thing that I, I looked at that fight, because it ended up becoming, it was a decision, they should have just called it a draw, but they picked, you know, they picked a winner, ended up being Lewis. But with that, especially with Naganu, here you have this heavyweight fighter that is known for one of the most powerful punches in the UFC, and yet he took the least amount of strikes, I think in, in UFC history, for any fight. And when I think about wealth building and what that takes, what that means to build wealth, it means that some way, somehow, in your wealth building journey, you have to take a risk. You have to take a shot, because if you don't, you're never gonna get the knockout. You're basically putting it into somebody else's hands. And in the case of this UFC fight, you're putting it in the judge's hands to decide whether you win that fight or not. And that's not how you build wealth. That's not how you build anything. You have to go for the knockout. You have to take risks. And when I think about my wealth building journey, whether that was taking a risk on starting a new business, whether that was a risk in starting an online business, whether that was a risk in starting a partnership with somebody that I wasn't sure if this was gonna work out or not, there were different risks in my life that I took a shot. Now here's the thing. Did all of those shots end in a knockout? Absolutely not. Did some of those risks turn into me taking a huge right hook and whipping only to get punched, get knocked out by the other guy? Yeah, that happened quite a few times. I won't say I got knocked out, but I definitely got knocked down more times than I can count. But here's the thing, I always got up. I always got up to fight and to continue to the next thing. So I'm asking you right now, if you are truly serious about building wealth, about achieving financial independence, by achieving financial freedom, what risks have you taken? How many times have you actually gone for the knockout or are you just playing it safe and going for those little jabs here and there? Because guess what? Jabs, they're gonna, they're gonna do a little bit of something but they're not gonna get you to that wealth building status that you desire if that's truly your goal. So I'm asking you right now, when's the last time that you took a risk? That you took a risk that puts you outside of your comfort zone? When you couldn't safely predict what was the outcome, what was the future, what was going to unfold if you did this? Because I can't even count how many times I've taken a risk where I didn't know how it was gonna end up. I didn't know what was on the other side. I had a lot of hopes. I had a lot of desires, but the reality was I didn't truly know, but I took a risk and thankfully, many of those have worked out and the ones that didn't work out didn't ruin me. But I'm still not afraid to go for that knockout punch because that is what wealth building is all about. So let me know in the comments below, when's the last time that you took a risk? When's the last time that you went for the knockout punch? I wanna hear, so share with my community, share with the channel, the last time that you went for the knockout. All right, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome, but you gotta go for that knockout punch.